for the occlusion exercises, this is where your straps come in. So you've either got the uh, manual straps or the occlusion cuff or top of the range is the elite cuffs uh, with a Bluetooth connection. So for the basic cuffs, what you're looking to do is basically restrict some blood flow to the muscle, either at the top of the leg or the top of the arm. So I'm just going to show you an example with uh, a couple lower body exercises and also a couple upper body. And then whenever you see occlusion exercise in your program, get the bands out and use the bands. So if we're putting on the legs, simply undo the restriction. Just slide your leg into the band. You go on the outside of your shorts, nice and high. And then you want to pull the cuff or the, the band to about a seven out of 10 tightness. So you should be able to get your hand just underneath, but the band's pretty tight. So for me, I'm just going to give it a little bit more. I'm happy with that. Same on the other limb. Nice and high up. Put the uh, adjuster where you have access to it. Make sure you don't pinch yourself with it. And again, similar tightness to the other side, so about seven out of 10. Bands are on. So in terms of the exercise, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of our body. So with the goblet squat, Using the power blocks you can grip underneath here likewise if you've got any body weight movements or lighter dumbbell movements change the weight for example you can do with the occlusion cuff uh, reverse lunges split squat Uh, occlusion for step up, you only need to restrict the leg you're working. So you're going to do all the reps for one leg, take the band off, swap over, do the other after a bit of rest. For the step up, exercise for upper body same thing you're looking to restrict the top of the limb um, and tighten the band to about 7 out of 10 with the manual ones again with the elite cuffs you'll find that the, the prescribed pressures will be on this video um, and tell you what pressures put those to so for the purpose of the manual ones again top of the limb about 7 out of 10 you should be able to get two or three fingers under the band and using the velcro fix the band in and then, for example, a single arm press. So remember for occlusion exercises, weights are a lot lighter, 20 to 30% one rep max. So if I could shoulder press 25s in each hand, 20% is about five kilo. This is four kilo here. So I'm gonna start with this. So as an example, kneeling press here, overhead. Other exercises might be used, for example, if you were doing pull, you might see bicep curls with occlusion on your program. And again, that can be done with both cuffs on. For example, kneeling push-ups, if I have both cuffs on my arms, I can perform kneeling push-ups under occlusion. And that's it. So make sure with the occlusion exercise, you follow the rep scheme. If you're hitting the limits of those reps, you can nudge the weights up slightly. You'll find that you only need to put them up marginally each time and see if you're still within those rep limits. So for example, if I went from four kilo and completed all the reps prescribed, next time I might put it on five or six. Might find that I'm quite a little bit off those reps. Next session, I'll try and do a little bit more, a little bit more till I then hit the limit again and go up.